The card shark began passing out chips to the newcomers, wishing each of them a perfunctory good luck as it did so. So it seems you don't really get on well with the other miners, the lieutenant said, keying on Dez's earlier comments. Have you ever thought about changing careers? Dez groaned inwardly. By the time he had joined the table, the officers had given up their recruiting spiel and stuck mostly to playing cards. Now he'd given her an opening to bring it up again. I'm not interested in becoming a soldier, he said, anting up for the next hand. Don't be so hasty, she said, her voice slipping into a soothing, gentle patter. Being a soldier for the Republic has its rewards. I suspect it's better than working the mines, at least. There's a whole galaxy out there, son, the commander added. World's a lot more attractive than this one, if you don't mind me saying. Don't I know it, Dez thought. Out loud, he said, I don't plan to spend my whole life here, but when I do get off this rock, I don't want to spend my days dodging Sith blasters on the front lines. We won't be fighting the Sith for much longer, son. We've got them on the run now. The commander spoke with such calm assurance, Dez was half tempted to believe him. That's not how I hear it, Dez said. Rumor is the Brotherhood of Darkness has been winning more than its share of the battles. I heard it's got more than a dozen regions under its control now. That was before General Hoth, one of the other soldiers chimed in. Dez had heard of Hoth on the Hollow Net. He was a bona fide hero of the Republic. Victorious in half a dozen major confrontations, he was a brilliant strategist who knew how to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Not surprising given his background. Hoth? He asked innocently, glancing down at his cards. Garbage. He folded his hand. Isn't he a Jedi? He is. The commander replied, peeking at his own cards. He pushed in a small wager. A Jedi master, to be more accurate. And a fine soldier, too. You couldn't ask for a better man to lead the Republic war effort. The Sith are more than just soldiers, you know, the drunken ensign said earnestly his voice even louder than before. Some of them can use the Force just like the Jedi. You can't beat them with blasters alone. Dez had heard plenty of wild tales of Jedi performing extraordinary feats through the mystical power of the Force, but he figured they were legends and myth, or at least exaggerations. He knew there were powers that transcended the physical world. His own premonitions were evidence of that. But the stories of what the Jedi could do were just too impossible to believe. If the Force was really such a powerful weapon, why was this war taking so long? The idea of answering to a Jedi Master doesn't really appeal to me, he said. I've heard some strange things about what they believe in. No passion, no emotion. Sounds like they want to turn us all into droids. Another round of cards was dealt out to the remaining players. The Jedi are guided by wisdom, the commander explained. They don't let things like desire or anger cloud their judgment. Anger has its uses, Dez pointed out. It's gotten me out of some nasty spots. I think the trick is not to get into those spots in the first place, the lieutenant countered in her gentle voice. The hand ended a few turns later. The young woman who had bought the ensign his drink came up on twenty, not a great hand, but not a bad one either. She looked over at the commander as he flipped up his cards, and smiled when he had only nineteen. Her smile faded when the drunken ensign showed his twenty-one. When he scooped up the pot, she cut his laugh short with a friendly elbow to his ribs. Everyone anteed and the dealer flipped out another pair of cards to each player. The Jedi are the defenders of the Republic, the lieutenant went on earnestly. Their ways can seem strange to ordinary citizens, but they're on our side. All they want is peace. Really? Dez said, glancing at his cards and pushing in his chips. I thought they wanted to wipe out the Sith. The Sith are an illegal organization, the lieutenant explained. She folded her cards after a moment of careful deliberation. The Senate passed a bill outlawing them 3,000 years ago shortly after Revan and Malak brought destruction to the entire galaxy. I always heard Revan save the Republic, he said. The commander jumped back into the conversation. Revan's story is complicated, he said. But the fact remains the Sith and their teachings were banned by the Senate. 
Their very existence is a violation of Republic law, and with good reason. The Jedi understand the threat the Sith represent. That's why they've joined the fleet. For the good of the galaxy, the Sith must be wiped out once and for all. The drunken ensign won the hand again, his second in a row. Sometimes it was better to be lucky than good. 